This will be a quick video on one of the most important aspects of pharmacodynamics that has clinical significance. We'll be talking about enzyme inducers and inhibitors. Most drugs are metabolized to the inactive metabolites by hepatic cytochrome P450 enzyme system. So this prevents drugs from exerting infinite effects. However, it is important to recognize that some drugs can induce or inhibit this system, and this has clinical consequences. So an enzyme inducer increases the cytochrome P450 activity. This leads to accelerated metabolism of other drugs, and thus reduced effect of these other drugs. So if you give a patient an enzyme inducer, you have increased P450 activity. Remember P450 metabolizes drugs to inactive metabolites. So if this increases, you'll end up with reduced effect of these other drugs. Thus patients require increased dosage of these other drugs in the presence of an inducer. An enzyme inhibitor, on the other hand, decreases P450 activity. So this results in increased concentration of other drugs. So there is an increased concentration of these other drugs, which results in an increased effect of these other drugs. So again, if there is a decrease in the P450 activity, less drugs will be metabolized to the inactive forms. So there will be an increased concentration of these other drugs and thus an increased effect. So patients will require a reduction of other drug doses. Now, there are known common enzyme inducers and inhibitors. The enzyme inducers decrease the concentration of other drugs, as we've mentioned. And these can be remembered by the mnemonic PC-BRAS, which include phenytoin, which is an anti-epileptic, carbamazepine, which is also an anti-epileptic, barbiturates, which are a central nervous system depressant, rifampicin, which is an antibiotic used for the treatment of tuberculosis, chronic alcohol use, and sulfonuria, which is used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, enzyme inhibitors, again these increase other drug concentrations, can be remembered by the mnemonic AO devices. So these include allopurinol, which is used in the treatment of gout, omeprazole, which is a PPI, disulfiram, which is used in the treatment of chronic alcoholism, erythromycin, which is an antibiotic, valparate, which is an anti-epileptic, isoniazid, which is another antibiotic used in the treatment of tuberculosis, ciprofloxacin, which is an antibiotic, acute alcohol intoxication, and sulfonamides, which are used in antibiotics. So next time you prescribe a drug, make sure you note whether it is an inducer or an inhibitor. And be sure to review the patient's medication to note whether you need to make any adjustments. Please like, subscribe and share our content with your friends and on social media pages. Our mission is to develop need to know video content and question banks that remain free for your use. We are unable to keep doing this without your support. Thank you.